Coco is purring on your back The rise and fall of your breathing Seems you've been avoiding me, brother. Good morning, Judith. I think that's how mom taught us to greet in the morning. Why have you been avoiding me, brother? Why? I've been so busy with everything that I don't have my time anymore. That's why I come home very, very tired. Mom tells me you've opened up another branch of store. Yes, I have. And that's why I've been really, really busy. How about our last discussion? You've not said anything to me since then. I asked you to give me some time, didn't I? That's what you said, but you've not been serious with me, brother. Judith. Chief can get out of jail anytime, and that means my movements will be hindered. I'm just asking for some money, like a million. And I said I would do something about it, didn't I? But you're not doing anything. None of you are. Not the twins or mom. You all are happy spending the money I make through Chief, but no one cares about me. Give us time. All three of us have got something special for you. Believe me, Judith. Trust your brother this once. I'll see you when I'm back. He wouldn't do shit about it. I know he's trying to send me back to Chief, but that will not work out. Never ever. I have to do something by myself. My bag at Chief Place, my jewelry, I have to go there. I guess I don't have a choice. This is what home feels like, being a while. Welcome home, Mom. Thank you, son. It feels good to be here, back where I belong. Ada, go and bring us something hot to drink. Everything feels different around here. And do you both know what that is? It's your presence, mom. My grandson. His loud laughter. His... His cries. Mama. I have been quiet about it all along, saying nothing, but I'm not sure I can hold it. Mom, you just go back from the hospital. Please, just rest a bit. Ada, you did this. You made my son get missing. Me? Mommy. Shut up, dear Ezra. How can a mother be so careless with her child? There is no way anyone would have entered this house without me knowing. I am sure she didn't lock the door. That's why. Mommy, none of this is my fault. I... You are at fault here, Ada. Tell yourself anything, but you are the one who was placed in charge of that child to watch him. But what did you do about it? Lost him. You get out of my present this moment. My Ezra, my son is gone. Ada, Ada, mom, what's being of that? Get me cold water, son. That's what I want. Mommy, that was too much. You told me you only speak to her. This is what she knows me as. So it's better I act this way. I have to go and console her. That's two of you's business. Get me water to drink, son. My brothers have been acting totally somehow to me. Whenever I mention that I want to leave the house and run away, it is very likely that they all plan not to give me the money. Give us time. All three of us have got something special for you. Believe me, Judith. He's always asking for time, but he's doing nothing about it. Nothing. He opened up this new store and he didn't even tell me about it. Something isn't right in all of this. I can't allow myself to be caught up in between again. I've tried my own best for them, staying with Chief all along, even when I didn't want to, but they still want to push me back there. I don't even know what to think right now, but no matter what, I'm not going back to that place. I have to leave now that Chief is still in police custody. I have to be very, very soon, no matter what. She accused me of being the cause of what happened to my son. How can she say that to me? How is any of this my fault in any way? Why does this woman like to make me unhappy at me every single time? She didn't even try to pretend. She said it bluntly. My fault here. Baby, I'm sorry about what happened in the living room. Your mom says it's my fault. My own fault. She's just hurt by the whole stuff. That's why she said that. She's hurt. What about me? How do you think I feel about all this? Am I not hurt? That boy was my son. My son. I know you are also hurt. I totally understand that you are hurt. Why would she even think of saying that to me? I apologize on the behalf of my mom. I'm sorry. Is that what she has been telling you? Or is that what you two have been saying? Come on, baby. You know that I don't blame you for anything. I wouldn't do that. It doesn't look that way to me. It's not your fault. See, what happened to our son isn't your fault. I know this. My prince is gone. He's gone like in the thin air vanished. He might still be found. I strongly believe that. Where would they find him? Please tell me. Look at the moons that's passing by him. The police are still on it, my love. Like they care about him. They all don't care. No one cares about him. I care about him. Mom cares. We are all pained by what happened, Ada. Your mom shouldn't be saying stuff like that to me. Please, I beg of you. 
I've already spoken to her. She's also crying in the room. She's crying? Yes, she misses him. You know, this is the first time she's come home since he's been gone. That's true. It's painful. I miss him. I miss him too. But please, be patient with mom. That's all I'm asking of you, please. She shouldn't say such words to me, Ezra. They are painful and hurtful. Judith, what are you doing out here? I'm just thinking on everything, mom. It's too early for you to be thinking, darling. What is wrong? Do you want me to leave, mom? Leave to where? Somewhere safe. Somewhere where happy and free. Judith. I've been waiting to be free for quite some time now. And now that I have this state of freedom, I'm still like I'm being held back. I know what you are talking about, daughter. To you, mom, because it's like none of you have been listening to me. We have been listening to you and your brother has got a plan for you, for us or how we can live without any issues with Chief. All I'm asking for is a million, mom. I know, but trust your brother. Trust him. I don't know, mom. I really don't know. All the things we are enjoying is all thanks to you. Do you think we wouldn't want you to be happy and fine? It's too slow, mom. You guys are talking so much on making a decision. There is no decision to make. It's for you all to give me the money. You'll be giving more than the money, Judith. Come inside. Let's find something to eat. I will join you soon, mom. Don't stay too long out here. I can't wait for them. I need to go and take my stuff in Chief's house. I can't just give Judith the money like that. No, I can't. As much as I would love to, I know Chief will soon be out of the prison. And if he doesn't meet her when he's back, he's going to take it out on us. We can't risk that happening, but it's like she has made up her mind on leaving no matter what. I have to find a way to still keep her around or get her freedom in a way that it doesn't affect us. I can't lose all this stuff that I've got, no. Wow, James, businessman himself. Victor, my man, the man who works in one of the biggest companies in town. That's me, Alpha man. I'm good, and you? You don't even need to answer. I can see you are looking all fresh and dope. Not like you, James. Look at how you're just shining. If you call me shining, then your own skin is like the sun. It's good to see you. It's been quite a while. Yeah, it's been a while. Every one of us have been busy with businesses. Yeah, I guess so. Hard from Ezra. Last I heard from him, it was regarding him and his mom, her health. Yeah, but she's much better now. He got the money somehow. I'm glad to hear that. My mom ought to go and check on his mom. I'm thinking we should all hang out within the week. All three of us, you know. Sounds like a great idea. You all should just let me know the time and place. I will. Look at your new store, man. You're doing a lot, I must say. Two stores in your name. Stop saying that. You know, I know I'm sure you're keeping your money in hidden investments. Men like you. I've always wanted to do this for you, mom. Take you out and spoil you. This is really lovely, son. Thank you. I have not even done anything yet, and you are thanking me already. I appreciate everything you did for me, son. I really appreciate you. Thank you. We agreed we were never going to talk about it, mom. Yes, and I won't talk about it again. But you saved my life. You deserve to be alive. Seeing you this way only makes me really happy. And that's why we are here to enjoy ourselves. I am sure Ada won't be pleased with this if she knew we were out. She doesn't have an issue with it, mom. What happened between you two? I saw a side of her as we both stayed under the same roof. She's a good woman. I hope you know that, mom. She's a good woman with lots of bad attitudes. You didn't stay with her all these months. I was the one who stayed behind with her. Mom? Let's talk on something else. Like, have you decided on what to do with all the money in the account? Yes, mom. Business. That's the goal right now. I will set you all up and then I focus on my shop. That sounds like a great idea, son. So, like, how much do you intend to give me? I'll give you an other 500,000 each. Why would you give us same amount of money? Mine has to be more. No, mom. This isn't a competition. You both get that and I use the rest for myself. How are you, my friend? I'm much better, you know. I've gotten used to it bit by bit. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to take your mind back to all that. It's my mistake. It's really nothing, Gina. Life happens and life goes. You know what they say. I guess they might be right to an extent. How is everything at home? It's okay. Ezra's mom is back. Wow, that's great news. How is she feeling now? She is much better already. They got the money for the surgery. Yeah, someone came along and helped out. But that's not even it right now. She said it with her problems again. Not really. Yesterday, she said I'm the reason why Prince is gone. What? She said that to you? Seriously? Yes, she did it and it was painful and you could even say something like that. Oh my, Ada. Hey, stop crying. 
I can't believe we are all here again. Why not? A few months ago, I had nothing to my name, nothing to myself. Until your sweet woman came along and got you a job, how about you work on helping us also get a job? James, you don't need any job. You and I know that. That's true. You have hit a lot of money, James. Big, big time. Show us the way now. Look at Ezra that's talking here as if you haven't also started building your house. How do you know that? Your mom mentioned it to my mother, so you're also doing well. Stop trying to act like you are not. I saw your land as well. Your projects going on are really massive. Wait, so you two are building houses already? What about you, Victor? I'm not building anything. How much do I have to build a house or buy a land? Save up and come and buy your land next to mine. Like, how much did you buy the land? When you're ready, come and meet me, so we'll talk about that quietly. <laughs> he will not tell you how much he bought it. Me, I already know. See lands in that area around 6 points to 10 million. James, oh my god, see, come and show me how you're making this money. Good evening, Veronica. Good evening, Judith. What are you doing here? I came to get my stuff left behind in the house. Your stuff? Did you come in here with anything really when you came? Very well. Shut up there. You know I've been telling you to stop calling me by my name. But you don't listen to one bit. You keep on calling my name. Ma Vero, please, I came to take my goods. You don't have anything in this house. You've got nothing here for you, Judith. All my items in my room. All those stuff my dad bought with his money. Did you buy any with your money? You're yeah, right, but there are actually some stuff that are mine. bought by my mom for me? Nothing like that is in this house. I remember when dad bought all of the stuff you brought from your poor home. My documents. I'll tell the man to give you that. Is there anything else? I need to get something inside my room, Vero. Please, I beg of you. Aside from the document that's yours, I don't think there's anything that belongs to you in this house anymore. Not even the car. Do me a favor. Don't show up here again. What the hell? Oh, why do I have to meet her? Hello, James. Chief. Yes, I'm the one, James. How are you doing? And how's my beautiful wife as well? We're doing fine, sir. And Judith is fine as well. Why hasn't she come to see me here? I... Uh, I don't know, sir. I've called her number several, but it's not going through. Is she there with you? I'm not here with her, sir. She's in her bedroom, still sleeping. Your sister is meant to come over and see me. Or is she happy that I'm in jail? She's not happy about that, sir. She's just being carried away with the whole activities at home. That's it, sir. Isn't she? Tell her to come and see me. I'll do that, sir. You've gotten the money, I believe. And I want to also believe that you're instantly to take good care of her as expected. Yes, yes sir, I'm attending to all her needs. She mustn't lack anything good, James. That's why I'm sending those huge amount of money to you, for your sister's upkeep. She doesn't lack anything, sir. I'm sure to take care of her as expected, sir. Bring her to come see me, I've missed her. I'm surprised you brought me here. I hope the location is good enough and you like it here. Yes, I like it here, baby, but what is happening? Is it wrong for me to take my woman out on a date to spoil her with love and gifts? It's actually very sweet of you. You've been the best woman in my life, Ada. You stood by me all along and supported me every little way, despite me messing up. And for that, I'm grateful. Thank you. I also messed up, Ezra, but you didn't for once use it against me. If it's on our son, I strongly believe you will have more babies for me, and we aren't going to lose any one of them anymore. Amen, Ezra. I've been able to have some money at hand, and I think of what we can do. We need to get our apartment, Ezra. Our own house. We'll go and check out some houses together and find one that's suitable. Any house you pick is fine with me. I just want to go somewhere else. Away from my mom? It's not that. Come on, she's your mom. But you know it's going to be more comfortable if it's our own house, our own place, so I can have my privacy and do what I like. I totally understand. I've missed you wearing those sexy night gowns for me. <laughs> Something like that. I'll also send you some money for you to start a business, open a store and start selling something or any business of your choice. Wow, really? Yes, darling, really. It's not that much, the money. It's around 500,000. Oh my god, you have that much money to give me. I want you to use it for your business. It's not like I have much money on me. How did you get that money? What do you think, darling? My investment paid off yet again. The same one that went crashing at the time that you told me. Yes, I didn't remove my money after it crashed. I just forgot about it and then the prices went up. I checked my balance and I saw that I had... Never mind the amount. I'm interested in hearing that. How much did you get? I won't tell you, just forget.
Baby, we need to get to work. You don't need to, Victor. No one is going to do anything on you coming late. I told you I want to make sure everyone knows me well in the office for consistency and hard work before your dad comes out. I don't think my dad is coming out anytime soon. Seriously, does this mean he's involved? They've got nothing against him still, but he's still there in jail. The court didn't grant bail. Why didn't they grant bail? The government is interested in this case, the federal government. Wow, this is really bad. But did he do it? Is he involved? He isn't involved, Victor. How many times do I have to tell you? Well, he's going to come out, right? I hope so, but until that happens, you and I will keep enjoying ourselves. But we don't have money yet. You've not sent me a good sum of money, and neither have you gotten a good sum as well. I know, but give me some time. I'll find my way with the company accounts. Your dad is still making it hard for you to take money from the company. He is, but I'll pay him a visit soon and talk about it all. I'm not interested in the whole money, I hope you know. So, fact, I'm getting my salary monthly and you're giving me those little money, that's fine with me. We need to be able to take a lot of money from the company before my dad comes out. Hey sis. Brother, you are still at home. I thought you had gone to the stop. I was about to when I said I should stop and check on you. Well, thank you. What about what we discussed, brother? I was working on it, but there's something we need to talk about. Did you change your number? Yes, I did. I got another SIM card. Why? A chief called me not quite long and he said he hasn't been able to get in touch with you. Oh, so he called you. You two been talking. Not really. He just called me today with a strange number. And what did he say? Asked about his wife, you, and said he wants to see you. I hope you told him that wasn't going to happen. I couldn't say that. You know, he's still the one paying and sending money for that. That's treatment and also paying for our rent and our upkeep here. I know that's exactly what you wanted to say. I think you should try to see him, please. I told you, I want to be far away from that man and you're asking me to go and see him. On time at least, that's all. Then we can talk properly on you coming out of marriage with him or running away to somewhere else. Brother James, hmm. So this is the place. Wow, wow. Look around the apartment first before saying anything. I'm going to do that, but this place is really, really big, I must say. Yeah, I wanted to get us somewhere big enough to take us all in with our babies. Seems you want to have a lot of kids. We are going to have like six or seven. That's too much, Ezra. Who is going to carry them all? Look around first, then tell me what you think about this. Okay. Hello, Daddy. I thought you said you weren't going to come here again. I said that, but I changed my mind. You are still my daddy, and I'm your daughter. Don't you agree with me? You are still my daughter. I'm sorry about the way things went in the courtroom, Dad. Are you sorry? Because it looks like you are pleased with the verdict. I didn't, Dad, but there has been people reaching out to me, asking that I testify. Testify that what? That you are a part of the whole stuff. They are promising me money. You can do whatever you want to do, Vero. I don't care, really. Why are you here? I just came to tell you this, Dad, to warn you on what's happening out there. Thank you. About the office, Dad. I need money. I need more money. You don't need money, Vero. You're not even doing anything in the office. I need you to allow me to make decisions in the company, Dad. I want to be involved in everything, Daddy. You've been trying to get money from the company, I've been told. Why are you making things hard for me, Dad? You know you can't trust those out there. They can even be cheating you right now. But at least, I know that they won't turn their backs on me at any point, unlike you. I'm not turning my back on you, Dad. I've always got you. I bet you do. Come in here to threaten me. I need money, Dad. I'm frustrated with the chicken change you're telling them to send me monthly. It's too small. Baby, I've looked around and I like everything that I see. So you say we take it then? Yes, baby, we take the house. It's just perfect with everything. It's a new house. We'll be the first occupants to take here. No wonder it's perfect this way. We'll pay the rent for two years. What do you say about that? Sounds like a great idea. Although you haven't told me how much you have in your account. I can't tell you that. Have you decided on what to do with your money? I haven't decided yet, but it will be business, definitely. Okay, baby. So, um, we are taking the house, right? Yes, we are. And when we get here, we go straight to making babies. Because I don't want extra three rooms to be empty for too long. They definitely won't be empty for long. Like I could go on and on. Yeah.